It may be invisible to you, but the words you say and the thoughts you think influence you more than you realize. They affect your mood, how you treat those you love, and how you manage your everyday life, for better or worse. People use a simple technique to find the power of negative versus positive words. It's called the Rice Experiment. Dr. Masaru Emoto discovered that human thoughts and intentions have the unique power to alter physical reality. And in his particular experiment, he examined the molecular structure of water. In his research, he exposed water to different words, pictures, and songs before freezing the water to examine it with microscopic photography. He noticed that the water exposed to positive speech and thoughts produced beautiful crystal formations, while the water received negative speech grew ugly crystal formations. When a Japanese family heard of this discovery, they invented the rice experiment, which would serve as another way to get visual proof of the hypothesis. You cook your rice in water so the rice absorbs the water, then cool it and separate it into three jars. On one jar you write, I love you. On the second you write, I hate you. On the third jar, you write nothing. Spend 30 seconds twice a day consciously sending out positive thoughts to the jar with I love you on it and sending negative thoughts to the jar with I hate you on it. You can ignore the third jar entirely. Several people have performed this exercise. Some have approached it with genuine curiosity, while others have done it to debunk the theory. Either way, there are several conclusions to the experiment found online. The container marked with love is it's in quite good shape. It's a little it's a little yellow, but I'd probably eat it. In a video that has now reached over a million views, Emil R displays the results after nine weeks of performing the rice experiment. The jar that received only positive reinforcement and comments seems to be in the best shape, having only yellowed a little over the nine weeks it was kept in an airtight jar. And the container marked hate is it's in bad shape, all right? This is quite disgusting. There's no way I would even touch this. The rice in the ignore jar was in far better shape, but still worse than the rice in the love jar. The same is true for other people doing this experiment. The rice in the I hate you bottle decayed at a much faster rate than the I love you bottle or the control. On day 50, you begin to see the real changes. It's clear which words are the healing words and which do the most damage. So now you see our words do have power in them. But why does it matter how water and rice soaked in water react to words and affirmations? Surely we are more resilient than that. The human body is 80% water, meaning negative and positive reinforcements create just as much of an impact. When the rice in the hate jar was subjected to negative talk, the molecular structure of the water it was soaked in altered and caused harm to the rice. Similarly, when we berate ourselves or hurt ourselves, the molecular structure of water in our bodies alters. Now think about how many times a day you speak to yourself negatively, every mistake you make, the things you forget, the things you don't achieve due to unavoidable circumstances. All of the negativity from this compounds and sits in your body and creates ugly crystals. Dr. Masaru Emoto was interviewed for his findings in 2006, where he explained his theory more in depth. Um, because through my work now that I can see a visual um, support to what I believed in. Um, I can say that uh, now, you know, I'm, I am sold on uh, the theory that um, everything does have vibration or everything emanates from vibration. So, um, since everything emanates from vibration, then the consciousness that we put into ourselves has an effect since we're made of water. According to Dr. Emoto, negativity doesn't start as a large vibration. It's a subtle, small vibration that grows. It will start from an invisible level. We can't hear it or see it, but as time goes by, it will develop to the point where we hear it. That, um, this level of vibration is called uh, the smallest um, unit of vibration will be at the elementary, it'll be said to be at the elementary particle level vibration. So uh, not so much the physical vibration um, that I'm speaking about, but it's people's consciousness is definitely um, an energy as well. And that uh, feeds into creating whichever direction a vibration might 
um, occur. This means that the subtle vibration will determine the person's health or unhealthiness. Depending on what type of consciousness or intent or feeling you foster toward yourself, you will accordingly be healthy, have self-esteem, and have confidence in your abilities. The Chinese have a word for a similar concept. It's called qi and it refers to the vital life force or energy that runs through all of us. It is the essence of existence that flows through each of us, uniting the body, mind, and spirit. It is what makes us alive. The concept is by no means unique to Chinese culture. Many of the world's ancient cultures, mostly in Asia, have an equivalent word to describe this intangible vital energy. In India, it's referred to as prana, and in Japan, where Dr. Emoto is from, it's called Ki. Native Americans refer to the life force as the Great Spirit. In each of these cultures, healing and traditional medicine are firmly rooted in bringing the balance and flow of this energy into alignment. A proper movement of both Qi and blood throughout the body creates health and harmony. An imbalance or deficiency of Qi causes overall symptoms of fatigue and illness, and it can be caused by a lack of sleep, clean water, fresh air, and even insufficient mental stimulation, love, and social interaction. Studies conducted recently have also proved that negative self-talk affects us in some damaging ways. Rumination and self-blame over negative events were linked to an increased risk of mental health problems. This means a rapid decrease in motivation and showing signs of depression and anxiety. This is because people who engage in negative self-talk live in an altered reality that is conditioning them to believe they deserve nothing more than negativity and hate. This reinforces the belief that they don't have what it takes to achieve their goals. When you don't believe you can achieve your goals, you don't notice opportunities to progress presenting themselves to you, and so you don't capitalize on these opportunities. The mind-body relationship is a powerful component of chi. If your mental health is out of balance, your body will be too. Along with eating better, exercising, and seeking counseling, positive affirmations will balance your chi. The key is to avoid negative self-talk that will cause imbalances and lead to a host of mental and physical illnesses. I believe that if you understand that water is yourself, then you will treat water as you would like for yourself to be treated. So you will, if people can understand this concept, then it can't go any in a wrong direction and will, people will take appropriate action that'll, be, that'll coincide with what their belief is. Our inner critics can be rather harsh, and once we start, it's hard to stop. So when that happens, you might find it easier to change the intensity of your language. I can't stand this becomes this is challenging. I hate becomes I don't like, and even I don't prefer. When your self-talk uses more gentle language, much of its negative power is muted as well. You can cross-examine these thoughts and put your inner critic on the stand to justify itself. Is the cause of these negative thoughts really worth all this harsh language? Catch your negative self-talk and ask yourself how true it is. The vast majority of negative self-talk is an exaggeration, and calling yourself on this can help to take away its damaging influence. Everything around us, including ourselves, suffers the consequences of our words and actions. The kinder we are to ourselves, the more chances we give ourselves to grow and develop in a healthy manner. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.